28 years, I look back and I do a quick math for you. You know, we start our program at three years old. This is three year old. You know, when you see that three year old that's training with you and you're helping them, they don't know anything about martial arts. But there they are, hiya, hiya, ha. And we say, great job, great job. You're gonna be there. We don't expect perfection. And then the motivation, the time keeps on going. But now take 28 years later, that three-year-old now is bringing their kids to martial arts. And when I see that, it gives me goosebumps to think that that three-year-old that started with me in martial arts and they grew up, now they, they got married and they're developing their family and they wanna bring their kids to martial arts. reason to be here for 20 years is just the consist consistency. The one thing that whether it's uh, from Grandmaster Clark to um, Grandmaster Von Schmeling and uh, Master Neary is that consistency beats talent every day of the week. Well, that community is just so important especially in, in uh, you know these days where people live in such an isolated um, you know, kind of world that the world's become. Um, to come to a place, come together, show up for each other, push each other harder, inspire each other, listen to an inspiring message every week from the instructors, uh, and it's just such a positive community. As a woman, I feel like having something to do in common, coming to martial arts, has brought us closer, has actually made us want to be healthier as well for Jason and I, especially as we get younger, we like to do more exercise. And I thought, we're gonna do this forever, no matter what. Right now, we need the principles that Victory teaches with their legacy, with the celebration of when things go well, with the knowledge that you have to learn, to always learn new things. And as she said, as we're getting older, it's, it's really good for us to be able to learn new things, to sharpen our minds, to test ourselves, because it keeps you young. It keeps you young if you always have a bigger future than what's behind you. But why do you leave into the next generation? When you're no longer here, will people remember for what? You're thinking of legacy and you're thinking of community and creating and, and growth and creating strong roots. You cannot be thinking only about yourself because you're growing as a strong tree to give shade and fruits to the next generation to come.